Here's your third period recap. Olsen plays it in front. They score! Jonathan Carlson and the Swedes are right back in it. Turgeon wins the draw back for Christopher Bergman. Plays it down there. Fiegren shoots. Seaburn makes it. Rebound. Lose it. But they score! Thomas Larson. 38 seconds left. And this game is tied. As you look at the third period scoring summary, we can tell you the last time Canada went to overtime in a gold medal game, 1999 in Winnipeg, when Arkham Chubarov scored on Roberto Luongo, who had been brilliant. We'll see what happens here now. Gord Miller, Pierre Maguire with the call. James, maybe a break for Canada in the gold medal game. There's a full intermission and then a 20-minute four-on-four overtime. So, Pierre, a chance for Canada to reset a little bit. And it's important that they do reset. It's all about composure right now. You can't run around on big ice and four-on-four -four situations, Gord. If you do, it will lead to chances against. Canada needs to stabilize the game early on. Their speed is always going to be a factor if they get it going. They sat back too much in the third period. They were outshot 14-3. to three. That's why the Swedes got two goals in the five to six. Now's a chance for Canada to dictate the terms again in a four-on-four -four situation by utilizing their speed and their smarts and their hockey IQ. Sweden won its semifinal game in overtime yesterday against the Russians on a goal by Michael Backlund. This is the first gold medal game to go to overtime since 2000 in Sheleftio, Sweden. That game went to a shootout. The Czechs beat the Russians. That was the third straight year the World Junior gold medal game went to overtime. The Finns won on home ice over the Russians in 98. In 99, you heard James Duffy mention it. Canada lost to the Russians in Winnipeg. And then in 2000, the Czechs over Russia. Four on four in OT. If necessary, a shootout would follow. But you've got to think, with 20 minutes of four on four hockey, this thing isn't going to shots. Nope. At least it shouldn't. Backman was the overtime hero for the Swedes yesterday. Matthias against Berglund. And away we go with a gold medal on the line. Christopher Berglund plays it across to Jonathan Carlson. Berglund up for Patrick Berglund. And then across the Canadian line, Alton back to get it. One problem early in period. The ice very sticky. Long lead pass for Matthias. Chipped ahead by Halaschuk. And Christopher Bergman plays it out. Carl Alsner with it for Cannon. Plays it off the lively and boards in. Rob had to be careful with that. And Oscar Moeller with it for Sweden. Taps it back for Jonathan Carlson. He scored the first Swedish goal. Cannon's got to be careful of the Swedes against stretching the zone. It's a tough change for the defense for both teams, but Sweden really likes to hang a guy high. Joachim Anderson almost lost that puck to Terrace. Now plays it ahead for Robin Fiegren. Fiegren shoots Mason to save loose in front, and Mason able to hang on with Joachim Anderson lurking dangerously. Here's James Sabolski. Well, the Team Canada coaching staff spoke a real easy language that the players could understand. We got to get it back, and we got to stick it to them. Just as simple as that. Gordon. There's a big face-off win by Turris in the Canadian zone. And Thomas Hickey brings it ahead. Chen dropped his stick. Now Giroux ahead for Turris. Joker Anderson tapped it away from Turris. Victor Hedman goes back. He scored the overtime winner for the Swedes in a summer under-18 tournament when they won gold. Joker Anderson, long drive. Mason kicks it out. Long rebound to Kyle Turris. Jumping into the rush is Logan Pyatt. 14 goals in the Western League this year. Pyatt. Trying to get around Eric Moe, he's taken down. Eric Moe's recovery speed is really good in this game. Now Thanks. a giveaway. Edmund gave that puck to Marshawn, but the puck rolled out of the zone. It's Marshawn with Brandon Sutter. Now Marshawn taken down by Backlund. Michael Backlund brings it ahead for Sweden. Here he comes across the line. Backlund shoots and flutters wide of the goal. Logan Pyatt back to pick it up. He gave it away. Magnus Svensson Payarvi, the 16-year-old, is on the ice in overtime. Svensson Payarvi with it. Still has it. Svensson Pariarvi gets around Godfrey, taken down by the Canadian defenseman whose stick got stuck in the boards. And Godfrey still doesn't have a stick. And now makes it out to play it. He's got to be wary of Godfrey's stick stuck there. Well, now Godfrey's got to either get off the edge or get that stick. There he goes. He's got the stick. Logan Pyatt. Good. For Brandon Center, who chips it ahead, and Canada changes quickly. Olsen. 
Donaldson comes streaking ahead for Sweden, working on all of her backhands in the front. Loose there, Mason poked it away from Tony Lagerstrom, who was alone in front. Stamp goes back the other way. He gets tied up by Olsen and sends it in deep. Big hit behind the play. Holes Apple steps into Christopher Berglund. Lagerstrom for Sweden. Tony Lagerstrom looking in front for Oscar Moeller. Lagerstrom, poke checked by Alder, got tied up with the official. Now Dowdy, chip got a hit for Holzapfel. Riley Holzapfel will settle it down for Canada. Swedes are changing, look out. Now Alder lost the handle, he's got Moeller all over him. It's that ice again, Gord, it's really sticky to start periods here. Three minutes gone in the 20 minute overtime period. And Alder lifts that down to the Swedish zone. Christopher Bergman picks it up. Canada changing again. Jonathan Carlson. Picking it around Halachuk. Plays that wide of the Canadian goal. Dowdy back to pick it up. Whips it there for Alsner. Alsner up for Halachuk. Gets it around Jonathan Carlson. Hedman back. Matthias gave him a whack. Now Joke Anderson loses the black. Here's Sean Matthias with it. Matthias loose behind the goal. Takes a whack and a loose one. They score! Matt Halachuk with a golden goal for Canada. World Junior Hockey Champions for the fourth year in a row. before but they've never done it quite like this and you know what it's so appropriate that Sean Mathias and Matt Hallis Chuck are on the ice to score the winning goal for Canada because it was both of them that were on the ice when Canada iced the puck which led to the late Swede tying goal and they're on the ice focusing in getting it deep Hallis Chuck never quits on the play guard the puck goes in deep Matthias forces the big turnover. You'll see him come in, capitalize on the turnover. Halaschuk goes to the front of the net. There's an opportunity, and then the active stick, finishing it off.